hey, hey, my name is Polish Links, welcome to Sakura Agent! Second episode, let's continue. <clears throat> so, Agent Akira? The board member looks at me. The very procedural part of this afternoon's incident. I'm afraid we have some exciting news for you. What might it be? Well, we're gonna come about this, what a good time you had with Kimiko. I guess that it is a good timing, but why are they bringing it up? With anchors in curses like you, we don't want any just work out in the field alone. So we're here to be signing a rookie to you. A rookie? I don't really understand why you would pick me for this assignment. It's for you to exercise responsibility. Responsibility, right! They just want an extra pair of eyes on me at all the times in case I do anything to slack off. But whatever, a rookie might not be so bad to have around. If they're a guy, then I can have someone to help me tease Kimiko. What? No, if they are a guy, then we quit this job. If it's a girl, well, I can tease both her and Kimiko, and I guess that's better. It should be fun either way. Well then, shall we introduce her? Yes. Her, hey. Now this should be fun. Someone walks in the briefing room at that point. Wait a minute! You? That girl from yesterday's incident appeared. For a moment, I found myself at loss for words. Uh oh, have you two met before? Well, yeah. She was at the incursion this afternoon. She helped us deal with the gremlin horde. I do not believe she was authorized to be worked out in the field yet. That strange looking girl just looks back at me. I'm not even really sure what she's thinking. Masumi, this man is going to be your partner for a while. His name is Akira. Hey, Akira! She gives a quick bow in my direction. Let's do our best! Yeah, uh, hi. I find myself at a loss for words. Well, I suppose I had better give you my report before I leave. As I step out, Masumi follows me. Kimi goes waiting outside. Akira, how did it? She tries off as she sees Masumi. It's her again! What she's doing here? As it turns out, she's a rookie in the agency. And she's going to be training under me for a while. What? I can't do much about it. It came directly from the board. Masumi peeks out from behind me. Hey there! Uh, hello. Kimiko looks her up and down. Why are you dressed like that? I like this look, that's all. It's not professional at all. So? We're professionals around here. Eh, I don't see your point. Hey, no need to argue, you two, yeah. I try to act as shield in between both of them. Well, if we're going to be working together, my name is Kimiko, and yours is... I'm Masumi! I promise I'll do my best. Right, I'll do my best as well. Kimiko pulls me over to whisper in my ear. And I will not say if I'm going to do my best or not. <laughs> Don't you dare to hit on her, Akira! I swear that I wasn't thinking of it. Sure you weren't. So do you want me to only hit on you then? That isn't what I meant either! I just shrug. There's only plenty of me to go around. I had not let you corrupt this poor girl! What do you mean by corrupt? She tilts her head to the side, obviously confused. Just forget it. Anyway, patrol duty today. Let's go see what's out there. Oh, that's... N that's a nice area. The outer suburbs of the city are our patrol location today. Incursions are more likely to go unnoticed out here. So they often send out patrol to check for anomalies. So, Masumi. How'd you become an agent? I just hit things really hard and someone noticed. Right, I see. So you're uh, someone for special power? That's right! She flexes, but I see no muscle mass at all. Life really isn't fair sometimes. No matter how many ways I lose, I could never become that strong. Oh well, does matter, I guess. How long have you been in the agency? A few weeks. Right. Now to ask you a question. Whatever could it be? Are you single? What? Why are you asking that? I was just thinking about that, and you and the guy over there could be a couple. 
No, I, I'm his assistant. We are in the couple. He got really serious when I asked that. Kinko just waves her off. Don't you go prying into other people's personal lives. What about you? Do you have a boyfriend? Nope! I'm single! She palms her hand on the air. Hey, there's one thing wrong with being single. Of course you would say that. What? You can't stop hitting on every woman you see. Until you decide to correct the attitude, you will always be single. I thought girls liked self-confidence. Self-confidence, yes. A complete lack of tact, no. It's okay, I don't have tact either. King or just shakes her head. If it's like that, my work around here just doubled. I then see a dark spot in the sky. Hang on, do you see that? Everyone goes quiet. Oh, that's a bridge. Masumi practically shouts that. Please be quiet. Masumi hears the urgency in my voice. She grows quiet. We don't want to alert anyone in the area. There's only so much that we can do to make sure no one notices these things. Sorry. It's okay, rookie. Kingo has already materialized her gun. Let's go check it out. Drawing close to the bridge, I can see it's just a minor incursion. It's an entangler. Damn it. Before I can even react, Masum is already staying in front of it. With one palm, she swipes it at it. And it is obliterated in a fine paste, causing a minor tremor. There! It's done! No, no, no! Kimko's voice sounds like she's scolding a child. That's not how you deal with it. But it's gone, right? Yeah, but now you've just caused an incident which might cause a lot of people to start looking around here. Sure enough, I can hear the sound of people approaching. Whatever remains of that entangler evaporates in the air. Hey, what's going on? The three of us manage to sneak off away from that scene. Kimko seems really unamused. Are you lacking the common sense or something? Eh, I didn't mean to cause everyone trouble. You may not have, but that doesn't excuse your actions. They say that the road to ruin is paved with good intentions. She's a rookie, Kimiko. There is no need to be so harsh where... Akira, we can't just ignore what happened back there. She can't just keep swinging her face currently around like that. Masumi seems fairly dejected by the whole affair. <sighs> I just want to show you how cool I am! That's what you're worried about? Kimko is shaking her head with disapproval. Look, we managed to get away with it this time. So it's okay. It's not something I really want to point out, but Kimiko's being fairly harsh on her. Eh. But why would she do that? Let's just get back to headquarters for now. We can report all of this to the board and they can decide what to do from here. More or less. So... She managed to destroy the entangler with her bare hands and caused such a tremor with her movement that it disturbed nearby civilians. Correct. Since she's under your wing, this reflects poorly on you, Akira. Really, they're going to pin this on me. But I know if I try to argue with these idiots, it's only going to make me look worse. You're already treading on a thin line. Since nobody's covered you, we'll overlook this incident. But if something like that happens again, I'm afraid you will have to be reprimanded for it. Understand? The anomaly was quickly dealt with and any trace of it removed from the scene. Does that conclude the report? Thus, Meeting adjourned then. Damn it. I hate those guys so much. Every time I have to go submit them a report, they are always looking at me with calculating guys. They are waiting for me to slip up, I can just tell. Since this wasn't directly a screw-up by me and no one actually discovered us, I was able to sleep under the radar this time. They probably dumped Masumi with me on purpose, so she would get me into the trouble. I wouldn't put it past those slippery bastards. Uh, well, nothing I can do about it now. Masumi seems like she's had an unusual upbringing. Where did she come from exactly? Who could know? This agent speaks out people from all over the world to serve in its ranks. She's probably from some country I've never have even heard of before. Who could know? Who could know? Now then I suppose I'd better get back to work. Wait, where's Kimiko? She always waits for me. When I had to do a report. But I can't see her anywhere in the hallway. Wherever could she have gone to? 
I'd better have a look around. After some time, I end up uh, checking the firing range. Sure enough, there she is. Mm, beauty. She's hardly practicing proper discipline, however. I, I don't understand why her leg is lift up. Uh, not that I have anything to complain because of that view as well. Uh, uh, but I still don't understand why shooting with her leg lift up. Anyway, she obviously frustrated she taking down on the targets at the end of the firing range. Take that! No one else around right now, so she has the whole place to herself. Her gun is pink bullets which look more like a dragon's breath than a normal firearm. Every single one of her shots strikes her targets perfectly. She must be really mad about what happened earlier today. I would say something to her, but I'm kind of afraid that she's going to turn around and shoot me by mistake. The look in her eyes is silly. And her panties are showing. That's the view I was talking about. Surely does pay attention at all, does she? Not that I'm complaining. I could stare all day long and not get tired of it at all. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. She does seem unusually agitated, however. Maybe I should stop staring. Stupid rookie getting angry into trouble like that! And the board deciding it was his fault! Uh, so that's what she's angry about. She must have been listening to the conversation. Although it's not really something I've noticed. <clears throat> Kimiko does actually seem concerned for me, despite being assigned to just keep an eye on my activities. As she continues to mutter to herself, the blast from her conjured guns seem to grow even stronger. Her ability is to construct things from her imagination. So is her anger being projecting what she has conjured? That's the only thing I can think of. People will with powers like hers are certainly mysterious. I'm also glad that her targets are only holograms. If they were the usual targets that Firing Ranger uses, this other rebels would probably burning down. This isn't enough! I can't get these things out, damn it! The bar on her gun begins to grow wider. It looks more like a hand cannon now. As she squeezes her trigger, I can hear a distinct humming inside as something whirls around inside it. Wait. Did she just make what I think she did? The humming grows louder and louder. Oh hell, it's exactly what I think she is! She made a railgun without realizing it. If she fires that in here, she's going to blow a goddamn hole through the wall. Wait, Kimiko! Don't fire that! I urgently rush up to her. Oh, <gasps> Akira! She lowers her conjure gun, letting it disappear into the air. I know you are there, sorry. It's fine, it's fine. You do know that you just conjured a railgun, right? So I did. I must have done without realizing. Imagine how angry they would have been if I ended up blowing the hole through this place. Yeah, very angry, to say the least. For a moment, we just look at each other. They said, you shouldn't worry so much about me. Those idiots on the board have always been hard on me, and not necessarily for bad reasons. We both know that Masumi should have been held responsible for her actions. She moved too fast for us to be able to stop her time. Nothing we can do about it now. Just who is she anyway? I can only shrug in response to her question. Your guess is as good as mine. Some new addition to the agency, probably from some foreign country. It's not really our place to question why she's here, right? Of course it is. She's already caused both of us a lot of trouble. She crossed her arms and stares at me. Look, the important thing is that we have to show her the ropes. Or rather, I have to. But as your assistant, I have to help you too. I'm your assistant, right? Yeah, that's right. I don't really want to get you into trouble too, is all. If I had not wanted to bother with trouble, I would have registered my complaint a long time ago. A heavy sigh escapes from her lips. Honestly, Akira, after all we've been through together, you don't think that I can help you with this too? It's not that. Hey. I just shake my head. It's just been a long day, that's all. Why don't we go get something to eat in the night district? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds nice. After sitting down at the bar, we managed to shake off that awkward atmosphere from before. Hey, don't go drinking too much beer. It will make your stomach floppy. Don't worry about me, Kimiko. Who else is going to worry about you if I don't? <laughs> you don't trust in my ability to look after myself? I don't at all. Now there's a blow to my ego. 
As you continue talking, I can help but notice a familiar face in the crowd. Wait! What is it? Kimo turns around. Masumi, what's she doing here? That's what I want to know too. I wonder what you must me. Kimiko walks over too. Hey, you! She turns around to look at me with those bright eyes. Akira! I was wondering where you went. They told me that you usually go to this bar when they uh, when you are not at headquarters. And why did you want to see me? To say sorry. I got in a lot of trouble back there. You most certainly did. Haven't you ever thought about what will happen before you do something? Come on, Kimiko, give it a rest. Masumi looks up at me. Say, you're new around here, aren't you? Well, yeah. I'm not from the city, so I don't know my way around very much. Well, Ruki, why don't I show you around? I'm sure Kimo wouldn't mind either. Well, I guess you're part of our team now. So, we'll, show, we'll have to show you the ropes. Okay! She seems to be in higher spirits now. Why don't we take her to that noodle place? I guess we can. We wander over to where the best restaurants in the district are. This is my favorite noodle shop in town. They always do great dishes. We can order our dishes and sit down. It arrives in the steaming bowls before we can even have a conversation. Must be quickly tears into her meal. Hey, hey, slow down. I don't get paid that much. Sorry, I can't help myself. I have such a big appetite. Probably a side effect of her powers. I imagine having that much strength would probably require a huge food intake. So, Masmi, you said you weren't from around here. Yep, my hometown is a lot more boring than this place. And how did you end up here? A bunch of weird guys showed up at my house one day, and somehow they knew about me being different. Probably I agents who scout for potential talents uh, out in the fields. A bunch of those bridges kept appearing in our town, but the locals dealt with it themselves. Dealt it? Dealt with it themselves? Yep, it was kind of hard to live in our mind, but thanks to everyone we were able to fight them off every time. And the ages never came around to clean them up for you. It was a quiet little town, so not really. I guess the agency can't be everywhere at once. Everyone there knew about the bridge breaches, so I could just squish the fingers that came out of them every time. She closed her hand as if she was squashing something in it. I thought it was the same around here. But I guess that's just plain world. So sorry about that. Kimiko seems to be satisfied with her answer. It's just a misunderstanding then. And what about when we saw, first saw you? Oh, I just saw the breach and knew immediately what I had to do. Squash them like the nasty mugs they are. She seems rather proud of herself. Well, you did help out that day. But you have to have a bit uh, of discretion around here. Kimiko seems to be stifling a laugh. What's so funny? You're one of the least discreet people I know, Akira. It's just fun to hear you talking about it. Uh, come on now, I'm not lacking discretion, am I? She just gives me a funny look. Masumi tilts her head to the side. Eh? It's nothing, don't worry. Eat up, Ruki, eat up. Okay. I'm not sure if I should have said that. My poor wallet will be weeping tonight. After getting Masumi safely back to headquarters, Kimiko and I returned home. That was a lot of fun, don't you think? What's the look you? You've been acting sullen ever since she showed up. I don't like this. You don't like her? No, it's not her specifically. You just liked it when it was just me and you. Oh. She's blushing and looking really shy. Oh, hell. I can only assume one thing about this. But I'm not going out to out outright say it. I just have to keep rolling with things as they are. If the agency knew about Kimiko's feelings, then that would compromise her mission. After all, they say she's my assistant, but she's really there to keep watching me. So if they knew, they would probably resi resign her immediately. And we probably wouldn't see each other again. So for now, I'll just play the fool. Well, whether we liked it or not, this is the hand we've been dealt. Well, at least we know that our MC is not... Dance. I mean, he realizes what would be the consequences. So that's a good thing. Anyway, 
All we can do is do our best wo with what we've, we're given. I wish that I could so easily accept these things. It's like you really don't mind what happens to you at all. Hey, it's not like it does bother me. I just don't waste my time dwelling on how it could have been different. That kind of thinking just makes you depressed. I suppose so. Anyway, I better change the topic. Masumi just seems a little bit out of place in this big city, that's all. We just have to help her adjust. I guess so. That power of hers is really something else too. It's one thing to her power. It's another to actually use it effectively. She's obscenely strong, but she has no finesse to her techniques at all. Now that you mention it, she swiped at that entangler more like it was a fly rather than an enemy. From her perspective, probably it's akin to a fly. <coughs> Something that you swat. But I think that if it came down to fight, finesse would beat sheer power. Something like your power would be effective against her, I think. Well, I wouldn't like to think that I'd have to fight another agent. Even if she's annoying country banking with no subtlety at all. <laughs> no, no, there's no need to be calling someone else a bumpkin. And her choice of clothes is obscene. I really, really, really want to point out the hypocrisy here. Kimiko isn't even aware that she's exposed 90% of the time. Mind you, I don't go the, out of my way to tell her. I am polite like that. If that's how she likes the resin, you should just let her roll with it. I guess. Kimiko doesn't look like she's going to give up on that point. Anyway, it's been a bit of an exhausting day. We should both get some shot eye. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Good night, Kimiko. Good night, Akira. Hmm. What time is it? Why am I waking up so early? Wait, I can I think I can hear someone in the apartment. Looking at the clock, I realize that it's way too early for Kimiko to be up yet. Then who could possibly be there? Well, I heard Dabs were here to give me a warm welcome. I get my gun. Putting my ear against the door, I do hear someone moving around. Whoever could be in there? A robber maybe? First, into the door, I point my gun towards the kitchen's entrance. Who's there? Same in the kitchen, I make sure to aim at where I hear the noise is coming from. What the hell? Looking back at me with banana halfway into her mouth. I, it's none other than Masumi. Oh, hey Akira! What's up? Please tell me what you are do uh, what you are doing in my apartment. Part of me is really, but another part is kind of worried. I just happened to follow you home. Sorry, I wasn't quite full after the meal you shared with me. So I hope you don't mind if I help myself to some of the stuff in your fridge. I shake my head at her. Couldn't you have just asked? Seriously, I had my gun on me. I could have accidentally hurt you. Don't worry about me. I am too tough to be hurt by bullets. She makes some kind of awkward flexing ball as she leans back. Flexing doesn't work when you have no muscle in definition. Oh, don't be such a critic. She pa pouts a little bit. I see her still dressed in her usual attire. Yep. She sticks out her chest, the tiny bikini covering it up, searching to breaking point. Uh, hmm. Of all, Kimiko makes a big fuss about how it dress. I find it pretty appealing. Thanks, I really like this look too. Masumi goes back to chewing on her banana. Mm, bananas are the best! I just love how perfectly shaped they are for feeding it through her mouth. It's like someone tend to be a perfect fit. She slices more and more of the fruit into her mouth. Am I just imagining things or is this strangely erotic? Well, I would like to like them. She bites down on it lightly, just enough for the pressure to sink into it. Then she takes a proper bite, happily chewing. Bananas mm, are the best! She mumbles in between mouthfuls of banana. You really shouldn't talk with your mouthful. She pouts at me a little bit. Phew, I'll talk whenever I want! Okay, okay, no need to get offended. Well, I work up with that, it's not a threat. I'm going back to bed. Remember, okay. Next time visit, ask for your permission first. No problem, Akira! See you later today! Yeah, yeah, see you then. I slowly exit the kitchen, leaving her to finish her snack. Something tells me that it would be a good idea not to mention this to Kimiko.
Kibuko seems to be a bit better than yesterday. So, Akira, I've got a new batch of orders from our ass from headquarters. What is it that I want this time? Apparently there's been a lot of breaches occurring along the coastlines. Oh yes. Who would have thought space squids like the sea? I wish you wouldn't call them space squids. They are entanglers. But that's what they are. Glorified squids from space. Well, you will just have to deal with it. A couple of agents are going to be assigned to look for look out, out of duty. Since activity around the coast has been sparking lately, they suspect that something big is about to go down. Hmm. We still don't know where uh, these bridges ever come from. But it's obvious that there is some sort of intelligent force behind it. After all, that entangler invasion we dealt with the other day, 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 definitely showed that they were being controlled by something. So, we're going to be stationed at the coast for a while. Yep, that's the gist of it. Sounds like it could be a lot of fun. I haven't been down to the beach in ages. Come on, Akira, you know full well that you can't slack off. So don't think of it as fun. But her tone does match what she's saying at all. I can just tell that you're looking forward to it too. It would be unprofessional of me to do anything like that. I'm guessing Daroki will be coming fast too. Well, yeah. She's assigned to you, so wherever you go, she's going to be following. I can't help but notice a little bit of disappointment in her voice. Alright then. So how long will be... will we be out there? A few days, perhaps. We're just mobilizing to deal with whatever's going to happen. As we come talking, I see someone walk out of the one of the office rooms. Hey Akira, Kimiko! Massive ways to both of us. Before we know it, she, Miko, she comes bounding over. Thanks for the banana this morning, Akira! Banana? What is she talking about, Akira? Oh boy. I don't want to mention this to her. He gave me this big, delicious banana! It was so bitter I could barely fit it into my mouth! But the flavor was unforgettable! Kimiko's face has lost a bit of color. Why on earth is Masumi's warning of what happened so inappropriate? Damn it, this is going to require some very careful word choices. <laughs> is this true, Akira? Yeah, she was just hungry. Somehow she got into the apartment that was raiding our fridge for snacks. I didn't want to wake you up, so I just went back to bed. Oh, so really did just give her a banana? Yeah, what did you think I did? Her face just blushes a bit. Well, enough about that! Must be we're going to be staying around the coast for a few days. Until this big incursion goes down. Hmm? I was getting some bad vibes from the coast. Bad vibes? What do you mean? It's hard to say how it works. But I just get this funny feeling. Like I know something bad is going to happen. After all, all of the people in Mahoton had something similar. Wherever we started getting a feeling like that, incursion was not far away. Yeah, it's a pretty useful skill to have. Cap damage she has two powers. And I have none. I don't like that feeling. <laughs> it gets worse when the snares, the creatures begin plopping out of the bridges. So that's why I like to squash them as soon as I can. Interesting. Himiko seems fascinated by the idea. What sort of sensation do you feel? It's it's cold. It's not a nice sensation. She shivers a little bit. Well, if it's a cold sensation, maybe you should wear more clothes. <laughs> no, I like this outfit. Both of them are way too stubborn. Anyway, you're going to be going with us for sentry duty. That's not a problem, right? Not at all. Asumi seems to get a bit pumped up. I'll do my best. There's the spirit. Oh, I just remembered I have to get all of the paperwork down for the transfer. Don't worry, Akira, I'll be back soon. Alright, I may take the rookie out with me for a patrol. Show her the ropes. <gasps> well, I won't be able to leave headquarters for a while. So do what you want, I guess. Kimko walks off without saying goodbye. She seems so sore about something. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'd like to show you around town. Are you up for it? Sure! Nasumi falls behind me cautiously. She seems to be having a lot of trouble navigating through the massive crowds around here. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, I can look after myself. I know you're strong, but you can squash people the same way you can squash an entangler. You've got to learn to move with flow rather than resisting it. 
I guide her to the crowd, slipping in and out with ease. How are you doing that? Is that your power? Nah, I don't have any powers. You don't? The ages and others just hire people like you. Some of us regular guys are apparently worth having around too. Why did they pick you then? They really do like asking the hard questions, don't you? Sorry. It doesn't look like she meant any harm by the question. She just likes little talk, I guess. For some reason I have a tendency to survive things that other people normally wouldn't. Whether that's dumb luck, skill or some kind of weird ability, you can decide for yourself. So you must re be really smart then? Nah, I'm not that smart. I'm just good with a gun and I know how to dodge things. I see. Piccolo must have been his teacher. Because of dodging, right? That's all. Oh! She grows quiet after that. Thank you for showing me around, by the way. Don't think of any of it. You're going to have to learn these streets like the back of your hand if you want to survive out here. It's hard work, but he pays all right and it's rewarding. Yep, I'll keep everyone safe from the incursions. Just like an action hero from an 80s movie. I thought I was the only one who liked cheesy 80s action flakes. Oh, 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 what about the Neon Rider series? I love that series. Neon Rider 3, the last road was a lead downfall. Tell me about it. Despite all of the special effects and top grade actors, it just lost that low budget charm it had. That's exactly how I felt about it too. I guess cinema had just changed for the worse. Yeah, that's... I don't know, I haven't actually seen anything in a long time. Somehow I only watch anime lately. Anywho. I'd say it's just different. I mean... Masumi just shrugs. She starts to open up to me now. And I can't help but open up to her a bit too. Does Kimiko like those movies too? I tried to get her to watch one once. She said it was stupid. <gasps> oh! She really is a serious person. I wish I knew how to become friends with her. That's just how she is. It takes a long time to grow up to someone. Hell, we've been together for years and she still scolds me a far bit. I guess so. But I can't help but feel like I'm an outsider. I mean, we're just working together, but... That doesn't mean that I don't want to be friends with the people I work with. Uh, I wish that that would be like that. Hey, hey, you worry too much. You will find your place in our little team too. So don't worry about it, okay? Just do you and everything else will work out. She knows herself thoughtfully. Okay, Akira. You look kind of scared when I first met you. But you aren't a bad person. Headquarters thinks I'm bad. Oh, why? I've got into some bad habits. I used to show up to work late constantly and kept getting distracted on assignments. The only reason why I haven't mixed out yet is because I have a really high success rate with missions. Oh, why didn't you show up to work on time? I needed my beauty sleep. That's it. That's no good, Akira. You need to be up and nice and early. Oh, now she's calling me too. Well, I am barely making it on time because I have to prepare those videos, okay? Anyway, oh, but with her and Kimiko around, I'm always going to be in trouble. That was a long time ago for Kimiko wakes me up on time. The two of you live in the same place? Yep, we got half and half on the rent. It's pretty convenient. I see. What she's blushing about? What she blushing about? As we keep talking, a car seems to pull up beside us. Out of the driver's seat steps no, 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 my assistant, Kimiko. There you two are. Come on, it's time to go. Kimiko ushers usher us in the back seat. But once we don't go. Is something wrong? I don't like cars. Just get in already. Kimiko begins pushing us towards the open car door. I don't want to. As we stand still and refuse to move. <laughs> I can see a gun starting to move for me, Kimiko's hand. I'd better do something before this escalates. Hey, must be. I think there's a spider on your shoulder. Which shoulder? Must be stops playing attention to Kimiko and starts moving her head to check her shoulders. The monitor is searched enough to knock her balance. And for Kimiko to lose her balance too. Catch her or let them fall. By catch her, you mean who?
Okay, catch her. We catch one girl. Let them fall makes both of them fall. Okay. Catch her means we catch one of the girls. Uh, we might catch one of them and squeeze something. But also there is a chance that if we let them fall, they both will fall onto each other and they will squeeze each other somehow. Uh, which should I go with now? Okay, would both of them squeezing each other somehow get their friend Frenchie, uh, Frenchie up? Also, which choice would lead me to one of the endings of the girls? Honestly, my current assistant is uh, the one I would go after. Even for our rookies, also good. Anyway, let uh, okay. I'll allow them to fall on each other. Hopefully, that's how it will end. If no, then we'll just return. I had the save after all. <laughs> okay, boom. Wow. Achievement unlocked for coordination, okay. Oh, and they landed in the car! Alright, that's good. The two of them tumbled the back seat of the car, sprawling on top of one another. I can't help notice how delightfully their boobs squished together as Kimiko lies on top of Masmi. The back of Kimiko's skirt is also running up her backside, and it gives me a nice view of her signature panties. Hmm. Despite intentions being to get them into the car without incident, I can't help but enjoy the view as the two of them slowly move against one another. What are you doing? Stop squirming like that! You stop squirming like that! With her incredible strength, I had no doubt that this is going to be very hard for Masmi. There is barely enough room for her to move and lever herself up. Especially with Kimiko lying on the book her. You should have just gotten the car when I asked you to. Did you think we are going to walk to the coast for something? I walk everywhere for... Not everyone has you. Superhuman strength for... It would take us days to walk the coast. But, but, but I hate cars! It's too confined in here! Masumi is still squirming. <coughs> the way that their fix are locked together is absolutely delicious! I can't help but feel very proud of my handiwork. Hakira, why are you standing there with a silly grin on your face? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't need my help with this, do you? Of course not. But she barely has room to move. She ends up having to spread her fix out even wider to try and pull herself back up, giving an even better view up her skirt. Just don't move for a second, Masumi. No, you don't move. Masumi is trying her best not to damage anything. I imagine in an awkward situation like this, it would be really difficult for her to control her own strength. Just give me a moment. I might get squashed if you move the wrong way. Somehow their legs become even more entangled with one another. Damn it! I mean, damn it! What is it about the cars you hate anyway? They give me motion sickness! You? Getting motion sickness? Yeah, are you happy now? It's so embarrassing! Asmi Pao's grump to herself. Well, I guess someone who's practically invulnerable likes her has her weak points. But this has been a great scene to witness. A very great scene. Uh, oops. Let's end the episode here, and we shall continue in the next one tomorrow. So, we'll see how the patrol on the beach will go tomorrow, basically. Uh, yeah, for now, hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.